What is up, everybody? My name is Commander, and welcome back to Frostpunk. This is episode 6 of the series, and last we left off, the generator died on us, and uh, but we managed to get it back online. Uh, unfortunately, the biggest problem we're having is the absentees due to the fact that there's a lot of illness going on. We have a lot of people that showed up, and we just do not have the medical facilities to take care of them. And here we are trying to take care of them again, so can we do it? Let's find out. So, I need everybody I can to collect metal, scrap metal. Um, we can probably go ahead and get away with building another road. If we take this, do something like this. We just gotta connect it there in the end, so that won't be too bad. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a... Gathering post. That's everybody's job. Get everybody doing this stuff. Uh, they're gonna build some roads. Perfect, it won't take too long to do this at all. I mean, I got 31 people doing this, so it shouldn't take too long. And then, how's the stockpile over here? Slowly depleting, but not a bad thing. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this heater back on. Go gather the coal. Actually, you know what? None. Turn the heater off. Save the coal. We got food to cook, so let's get some people cooking food. Put some engineers in there. Alright. Wow, okay, what are we looking at? Uh, we need to get people in here, so let's get a max number of people in there. Let's just throw the engineers on this project. Uh, we need all the metal we can get. As soon as we get a steam hub up, this area will heat up. Uh, we can take care of people a lot better, and we're actually gonna get all their homes warm. Okay, hopefully that helps, better medical care. Right, let's look at the tech tree. Bunk houses. Allows us to build bunk houses, a dwelling for 10 people that is adequately protected from the weather. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. Now, unfortunately, we're going to be kind of short on metal, so we're really going to have some issues about that. We're going to have to get a mine going so shortly. Um, on that note, resources, steelworks, we got to get this going. Okay, it won't take anything but wood. So, let's go ahead and get this going. No, 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 no. You know what, it's too late. Because I can get a couple of these built, get some people out of the weather, and get them back on their feet. There's not much metal here, so it's just gonna build like maybe five houses. Frost prices and become gravely ill. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Where at? I mean, where, who's the guy who's who's ill? I mean, I've got 60 people unemployed. They can go to work, and that guy can take a step back. It 
It's looking like I'm going to have to start getting these areas warmed as well. We've increased medical attention, but yet we're not able to get ahead of the curve here. What kind of other research are we looking at here? Infirmary. So we need to definitely... Health ins insulation. These two are what we need. Uh, I'd say the infirmary first, and then this. Okay, so unfortunately we got a long way to trek, but we got to get the metal for forge working too. We just this is not enough. I mean, it, it, it'll warm up soon. Tomorrow it's gonna warm up. We'll be all right for a little bit, and then we'll have to go from there. All the heaters can go off for a bit, or we can almost leave them on so everybody stays warm. Can we build this? Oh, yes, we can. There we go. And that'll actually warm that area up, too, it looks like. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's see that built. That'll get that medical facility done. And I hate to do this already, but we're going to head this off. We're going to head this off right now. We're going to get another medical post going. Right there. You know what, let's get people working here. We've got two steam cores. I think we're going to use one right here if we haven't already used it. Okay, so it just now used it. And the snow's melting on top of those, so maybe, just maybe, we're not gonna see so much uh, cold. Turn the heater on. Give them everything we can to keep them warm. All right, and let's finish these road constructions. If I got a few few people left, let's complete these roads because that should have been completed a long time ago, and we're still unfortunately unable to complete that one. But can we circle this road in? There we go. And now we get a road in there. It's not gonna take too much of our wood, which is okay, so. But now we've got a complete ring around our city, so now we're kinda set up to sprawl out and do as we need. It's hard to get, oh, it's late at night too, crap. So they are pretty much doing whatever. I guess they're gonna build roads. God, so many people getting sick. Alright, 
Where do I have some engineers that don't need to be working? Uh, I'm pretty sure I have engineers here. You need to get in here. Please say they didn't just die. engineers anywhere else. You don't need the engineers in there. The engineers can go ahead and come over here. I don't understand the shortage of labor. Oh my god. So my engineers are right there in that one. Okay. Scouts have reached the bridge to Winterholm. Alright. A brass plague on the bridge tower. Re uh, bla brass plaque. Built on, up by the people of Winterholm in AD 1887. The bridge is kept completely snow free by a working uh, automaton. Alright. Explore. We stopped at the edge of, the, of a deep, wide ravine, marveling at the steel bridge spanning it. Even more so at the huge automaton sweeping snow from the roadway. It would be possible to send the machine back to our city or to send, disassemble it for resources. Site discovered, weather station, large convoy. Uh, we're going to keep this thing because I, this can work at night. Otherwise you get two steam cores and some metal. We can always dismantle later anyway. Maybe. Reprogram the automaton sent it on the way. It disappeared into the distance, walking steadily towards our city. The first whist has now started to settle on the bridge. Alright. So we've discovered the weather station and large convoy. Let us go to the large convoy, because that could have several things we can use. Actually, let's go to the weather station. The reason why I'm going to the weather station is because I don't need more people right now. Finding the bridge. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll find out in winter home. Okay. This is the auto time under the care of the of an engineer. Just it's fine too, but but people are growing growing anxious. All right, so the town of the town is gonna take a, almost two days to get back. It's slower, I guess, than our people, and so that's gonna suck. We gotta wait for him to get all the way back over here. Next project is like infirmary time. say you guys can catch up on all this now. I mean you guys say bad healthcare but I cannot give you any better healthcare than this. doing everything I can to keep you all warm. What is it taking to research this? I need 25 metal. Are you kidding? There's 18 metal there. If I hang on to every last ingot, don't build bunk houses. Okay, unfortunately, I can't build them. In the meantime, uh, add more research. I 
that building because I need the 25 metal. How long will it take to get that metal? You guys might have to work a little overtime tonight because we need this tech. I bet you those infirmaries are going to take more than what I got, too. One more, one more piece of metal. Alright, let's upgrade. Oh, I know we're out of steel. That's all the steel we got, too. Like, there's nothing laying around, guys. I'm sorry. Ooh. Um. We need to get food going, because I don't need anybody starving. We got raw food, and it looks like people starting to eat. Are they eating raw food? Okay, no, good. And... Everybody there, collect every bit of that. Alright, we need to look at the laws somehow to get these people to stop working when they're sick. will be cared for at low cost in special homes. After introducing this law, another one can be passed after a day and 12 hours. New building care house. The gravely ill can be kept alive in care house is no longer burdening medical post. Uh, residents of care house eat half as much. Hope will rise slightly. You will have to build a care house. to speed up recovery uh yeah i can see that but we need food we can't even we can't even work on that um overcrowding a medical facility is doubled using this extra capacity will cause discontent discontent will rise slightly oh my god some tough decisions here what to do what to do what to do um I mean, we really should just double them up because I don't like the idea of putting these people in care houses. And that's another building. I'm not really worried about them eating the food. We can always get more food. And I just, I want these people fixed. Is there anything else we can do? Obviously not there. Pass this one, child shelter. Child, that will be safer in the shelters during the day. They won't cause any mischief. Yes, let's do that. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. These were during their time in their shelter, the children. What are they going to do all day? Watch the snowfall? Two children shelters should actually open up for other things for more people, I guess. And I think they're better insulated from the temperature. Oh yeah, they're much better insulated. So it might prevents getting ill. So yeah, maybe maybe that's what we need. There's 
no coal here anymore. Let's dismantle this. Ooh, we get four steel back. Good. hold 15 children. Maybe this will also pull some of people. The person is sick and will get worse if not treated properly. Select. Why are they not treated? Alright, and so we should have like 26 children. Yeah, okay. And so they should fill this home. Because we only got 15 and 15, don't we? Why are there no children in the shelters? They only stay there during the day. So many people ill. Oh my god, I got like an outbreak. Delts have reached the weather station. Okay. Alright, you found coal and a steam core. There's nobody at the weather station, but everything still seems to, oper to be operational. We could try to find out what the scientists from the win winter home were working on. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to find out. Grim forecast. We found scientists' notes. They predict that the great cold is going to get much worse. What's more troubling is that the observation ended abruptly months ago. There's also no, or not a can of spam, not even a crumb of bread left in in the pantry. They had cans of Spam back then. I didn't know they had Spam back in 1880. Uh, they've moved out for good. We can see the city of Winterholm from the roof of the weather station. So I discovered Winterholm coal mine. Okay, we're staying away from Winterholm because that, that's just going to be bad luck. Coal mine. Um, yeah, let's go to the coal mine. There's a large convoy. We'll have to hit the convoy next. A recent report of the weather station has got people talking there. Frightened such important facilities was apparently abandoned. Some are starting to wonder whether the evacuation from London was a good idea. A few are laminate openly I knew we shouldn't have come out uh, have come at least London has real houses not tents and wood shacks oh, you can be very upset about that all you want it has a place in the child shelter okay you can be unhappy about that all you want but it doesn't do any good urgent need for treatment art captain our people are gathered to protest the number of untreated sick keep rising, but you seem to ignore the problem. I don't ignore the problem. I freaking keep applying and stuff, and there's nothing I can do for these people. All I can do is open up another medical post and let them lay there and die. all I can do for you guys. It's not like I don't see this. That's 
why I built the bunk houses and everything else. I can't, there's only so much I can do, guys. And you guys are generally just making it impossible. I'm pushing every bit of research I can. One of our people died, yep. There's nothing I can do. I have had medical facilities out the ass and you guys are making it possible. I mean, what else can I do? Tell you to not work and not co go, go collecting and we all sit inside and hide in the shelters? That doesn't seem to work. Because the people that should be at home trying to get treatment aren't getting treatment. The people that aren't needing the treatment aren't doing that. And the people that need the treatment aren't working half the time. One of our people died. Right? One died of lack of treatment. There is no lack of treatment. That's a bold-faced lie. Turn the heater on. Every one of these facilities is running a heater in addition. Good, let them die. Let them die. Because there is nothing I can do for them. I have been trying to treat them forever. Look how many medical tents there are. The bad health care comes from the fact that you guys don't know how to do anything. Well, thank you. Appreciate you two being very kind about this. Thomas Hobart, here lies Thomas Hobart and Polly Peel. Hope that wasn't a little kid. The little kid didn't deserve it. Hey guys, so I set a line that was probably pretty controversial to the whole concept of survival, and that is let them die. Um, that's not a good line for a leader who's trying to save everybody from safety here, uh, save everybody from uh, the fro frozen death that they're looking at. But unfortunately, we're kind of in that situation right now where I can't do much for them. Um, can I save the, this precious city? Can I save the last of mankind? Well, you can find out by watching the next episode of Frostpunk. Uh, but that's going to be it for this video, guys. You all take care, and I'll catch you next time.